Today we're talking about Alexander Isak and Callum Wilson and the big question on every Newcastle United fan's lips is should it be Callum Wilson or Alexander Isak? Wilson or Isak? Wilson or Isak? Or what about both? Welcome to another video on the channel. Up until this point Eddie Howe has been reluctant to play both Isak and Wilson at the same time, certainly for more than like a cameo appearance together for 15-20 minutes here and there. But on Sunday against Southampton in the second half, he decided to put both players on together for a full 45 minutes. And the results were incredible, as we know. Callum Wilson scored both goals, but Isak's contribution to that was also significant and not to be underestimated. Surely now, Eddie Howe is thinking that this must be the way forward. As I said, the result was devastating when they were on the pitch together. We, we came from 1-0 down to win 3-1 really comfortably. It could have been more. We could have scored more goals. We did have a goal disallowed. Callum Wilson could have had a hat-trick. The effect of those two on the pitch together was incredible. And a lot of the good stuff in the second half came through Isak on the left and Wilson down the middle as a centre-forward. And it was just such good link-up play between the two. And obviously, there were other players involved in that. I'm not just saying it was those two, but like those two both played their part massively and it just must give Eddie Howe a massive question ahead of Arsenal because that is a huge game and do you go more solid or do you just think Isak's so good on the left, he was so comfortable out there and play Wilson through the middle to give Arsenal a headache. Isak started the game in the centre in the first half and then moved out wide to the... Sort of onto the left wing, really. He was, he was actually playing quite wide on the left, almost as, as a true winger. Um, and he was working hard, getting stuck in. And what I love about Isak, and I think this is where there is an argument for playing him on against Arsenal as well, is because playing him, sort of, although he's in a forward position, he is more than capable and happy to get stuck in and track back and do all that hard work that needs doing as well. So if you're not losing anything in that respect from your person on the left, why not start him? Why not play him as well? Because he, he's proven he can get stuck in. He's proven that he can track back. He's proven that he can put a good tackle in and win the ball and win possession. But also we know what the upside of him is going forwards. He's so good with the ball. We all saw what he did against Everton. And he, he tried to do something similar again against Southampton and, and it didn't end up in a goal. But like the, the close control that he has is just incredible. That performance on... Sunday, he definitely played better on the left than he did down the middle. And maybe that was just the circumstance of the game. But it really, really did work. Wilson, as we know, has had a superb April. He's got eight goals and is probably in the best form he's ever been in for Newcastle, which is absolutely incredible when you consider what he was like after the World Cup. And he had a big dip in form and he, he wasn't fully fit, possibly. And, you know, there was a very much a lull. He went for quite a few games without scoring. But like all good strikers... He just keeps going and then the goals eventually come. And he is such a good finisher that like, it's just great to have in the squad. And it's so good to have two players of that calibre able to finish in the squad. So like I say, we play Arsenal next. Should Howe go with Isak and Wilson to start the game? Personally, I think we should. I want to see it. I don't think there's any downside to having both of them on the pitch because like I say, both of them work hard. And, and Isak, even though he would be in sort of forward position but still midfield really he does track back he does get stuck in and I think that it would be a really really Arsenal would be not wanting to face both Wilson and Isak and I think it would give them a real headache it'd be really interesting to see what Eddie Howe does can't wait to see on Sunday we'll see I don't know what what do you think let me know in the comments below and yeah I will uh, I'll see you really soon for another video